Hey guys, it's Rishi once again, and today we're back with the Odd One Out series. So join us as we dive into the world of patterns, sequences, and logic puzzles designed to sharpen your skills. So whether you're preparing for the 11 plus exam or just love a good brain teaser, this series is perfect for you. So let's put on our thinking caps and discover the hidden patterns together. So what do we do in this topic? Well, if the thing is different to the rest, it is known as the odd one out. So in this, each of the questions has four shapes in a row and they all have something common except one. So you must find the odd one out. So we're gonna choose the shapes that we think do not go with the other three and then highlight it. And remember, the reason why a shape is the odd one out might be to do with its position, reflection, rotation, shading, or the number of shapes it is made of. So the trick to these questions is to eliminate choices by finding more than one box which shares a feature with all the others. Let's go through this example question together. So we can see that all the shapes are regular polygons and they all have horizontal shadings, except box D, which has no reflection symmetry. So this means you cannot draw a line through its middle and have each side of the line as a reflection of the other. So instantly we can go ahead and highlight D. Okay, let's move over to the next question. So we're gonna choose a shape that we think does not go with the other three. Well, basing it on the lines of symmetry, we can see that they all almost have a vertical line of symmetry here, but it is only D that has a vertical and a horizontal line of symmetry. I hope that was clear. Let's now move over into the next question. So what can we notice here? Well, we know that each figure is made up of a central shape surrounded by a number of smaller shapes. And if we take a look at the number of smaller shapes that we have, we know in A we have seven smaller shapes. We know B we have eight smaller shapes. For C we have eight smaller shapes. And for D we have eight smaller shapes. So for that reason, A is our answer as A is the only one that has seven smaller shapes. Okay, over to the next question. So what do we notice here? Well, we know that figure A, B, and C have four dots that are placed in a line along the long side of the main shape, but D has the dots that are curved around the shorter side of the main shape. So for that reason, D is the answer as it is the odd one out. Okay, over to the next question. Let's get a bit faster here now. What do we notice? Well, in A, B, and C, the shape with the greater number of sides is always at the back. So the larger shape is at the back. That's the larger shape there. However, in D, the larger shape is at the front. So that is our answer. And that's the odd one out. Okay, you're doing really well for coming this far. So let's keep going. Don't forget to pause the video, attempt the questions, and then press play when you're ready to go. So if we take a look at the figures here, we know we have three curved arrows and a diagonally pointing arrow. But did you spot any oddities that there are in any of these figures? Well, let's go through it. If you noticed that A, B, and D all have different shadings in each of the curved arrows, but C has two, that are the same. And C also has a round end instead of a diamond, as all the others have. And then finally, the arrows in C are curved in a different way than in A, C, and D. So well done if you noticed all of these differences. C is the answer. Okay, let's go for the next question. So what do we notice about these smiley faces? Well, we know that they have two lines, one long and one short. And the long line in A, B and D crosses the face and the short line only crosses 
the long line. So instantly, we can see the odd one out is C because it should not interact with the smiley face. It should always be done outside of the smiley face. Okay, let's move over into the next question. So in figures A, C and D, let's take a look at the arrows here. So A, C and D. What do we notice? Well, if the arrow is pointing down, it's got a vertical shading. So you can see that that's in A, C and D. But in B, the opposite is true for all four arrows. So again, what I mean by that is that if the arrows are pointing down, it should be vertical, but in B, it's actually doing it horizontal. So it's the entire opposite to figures A, C and D. So B is the odd one out. Beautiful. Let's move over into the next question. So each figure contains three versions of the same image, but it's been rotated and enlarged or even reduced in size. And it also looks as if the shading and the line color will always remain the same. But instantly we can see that A has one that is in bold. So it looks as if there are three differently sized versions of the same shape, but the line has a different outline here. And that is in bold. So that's our odd one out. Okay, let's move over to the next question. Once again, you're doing amazingly well by coming this far, so let's keep it up. So in each figure, we can see there is an angled arrow and two smaller arrows. And we can see that in almost A, it certainly has the smaller arrow following the direction of the larger arrow. So if one is going to the left, another one is going to the left. Likewise, if one is going to the right, the other one is going to the right as well. We know that this is also reciprocated in both B and D, but for C, it's not the case because we have one going to the right and another going to the right, but one is going to the left whilst the other is going up. So for that reason, C is the odd one out. And then finally, our last question. Let's think about this. What do we notice? So we can see that the figure is made of a main shape, which is then broken down into parts. For example, let's take box A. We have a rectangle in between two thinner rectangles. Those are the thinner rectangles and they become a rectangle. And then we have the two thinner rectangles which are broken apart. And also each main shape has two smaller shapes inside, which then go to make up an arrow shape. So as you can see, the triangle forms here and the diamond forms here. And this pattern is reproduced in B as we have the circle and we have the triangle as well as C, but it's not reciprocated in D. So D is the only figure that doesn't follow the same pattern. And there we are. So congratulations. You've successfully completed another round of our NVR Odd One Out Challenge. We hope you had a blast unraveling the mysteries behind the patterns and sequences. Keep practicing and honing your NVR skills. And remember, the more you challenge your mind, the sharper it becomes. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more exciting brain teasers. Until next time, happy puzzling.